Yeah, so every once in a while you'll need to clean the contacts in your sine wave reflection meter. Now there are a couple screws on this type, on this a static uh, PDC-1. Um, there are some other models very similar. Just two screws to the case, one on each side. And pop those. All right, so I took those two screws out. And really the case just comes right off. Now, you got these two switches here. You know, the forward reflection switch. You got the power switch or for sine wave reflection. So you can do it. both of them. First, what I did was sprayed a little uh, contact cleaner in it. A little bit of contact cleaner. I looked at the back of the switches and saw where where some little slots were. So I put that little that little tube from the sprayer right down there. Just gave it a little, you know, real quick spritz up here. These are open switches; they're not enclosed on the back that much. So put them in a down position there. And from the top, I'm not sure if you can see that, sorry, I don't have good light, but you can put these switches down and they'll recess down in there. It gives you a little space. Just give it a little spritz. So what you do is when you do that, then you work this contact back and forth. And then work the switch back and forth. This left one got a little bit sticky with just a contact cleaner. It's very evaporative, so it can be cold. Um, then what I use is a deoxid conditioner treatment lubricant. It's good to keep oxidation off of contact. So I like to use this Keg Pro Gold G5. Uh, works pretty decently. To condition after I've done the cleaning so then I do the same thing put the little tube down you know give it a little spritz a little just a quick hair spritz doesn't take a lot then you go back you work the switches back and forth again some of it may come out on the face may drip out because the, the spray cans they can spray a lot and actually this all loosened up the contacts in my um oh my adjustment for the sine wave set this potentiometer was feeling a little just sort of sticky as it went along i mean it was sort of tough but that lubricant uh, you can feel the contacts when you're turning the knob actually in the potentiometer slide and give that little bit of almost scratch feel you know as they're going along making contact you can feel it at this point but anyway so with this make sure you put it on right it's got a couple little dimples or dents right here they did to help hold the face back behind the dimples Put that back on. Put the screws back in. But don't use it for a little while. Let the contacts um, dry a little bit. Then just work them a couple turns before you end up testing the equipment again. But that's how you're able to test one of these little sine wave reflection meters, these cheap ones. The contacts are not the, you know, potentiometers and switches are not you know full-blown old-school Motorola's or anything they're inexpensive <laughs> they need cleaning from time to time to make sure that your set will work right and on the potentiometer and the switches stay in contact when you don't have any oxidation or bad connection when you have it switched to either of the positions this is why you need your sine wave reflection meters contacts staying clean they get dirty they'll not really allow good continuity through the switches for doing what you need to do to check sine wave reflection 
Got my CB hooked up to a battery here. And got my antenna hooked up through the meter. So I got my antenna hooked up to the side that says ANT for antenna. And then the one saying for transmits coming from the radio. What you need to do is check forward on the sine wave reflection to be able to calibrate. And you have to adjust this up to where it says set at the top. I have it set up there almost. There we go. Right there. Now, it's right almost a hair over, but I'm going to hit reflection, see what we're getting. Wow, getting very low. That was good. That was about 1.1. Yep, 1.1 and a half. So on the sine wave, on the forward. And forward signal or sine wave. Yeah, right about 1.1, 1.2 at max. So that's doing pretty good on that. If you want to, we can check the other channels like lower. So I go down to channel one. And at these channels, different channel, you still have to set the adjust calibration. So back it down, it's right there. Now Go on the reflection, REF, 1.1, 1.2, okay, let's see what happens on channel 40, and we gotta set it, so you do the forward, adjust, get down the reflection, getting about 1.1 if that, 1.1 to 1 on reflection, not bad. Go down to the 19, and I'll go to 20 right in the middle. I'm going to set forward, adjust, go down there, right set level, switch it back to reflection. It's about 1.1. I'm going to check power. So you got to switch it to power. Go to 10 watt meter, on this meter anyway key it down so dead key is about 1.75 1.75 so I hope that helps you on uh, adjusting your sine wave reflection as well and also cleaning your switches controls on your uh, sine wave reflection meter on if you have one of these same models this one's you got the name brand Aesthetic PDC1 but there's other brand names that slap their name on this exact same meter. But I hope that helps. Please do subscribe to my channel. That way you can see and keep up with more videos as I put them out. This is a how-to, but I like to talk about simple preps. Stay in touch here, and I look forward to seeing you on the next video.